Richard Scholz, Latvia. Your Royal Highness, Mr. Chair, I've been asked time again and again, is West providing enough support to Ukraine? And I have to say, when, while Ukrainians are showing bravery in face of Russia's aggression, I have to say that it's rather fear than the courage that dominates uh, among the Western leaders. The fear of escalation, the fear of having fully Ukraine into European family, the fear of Russia's defeat, the fear of Ukraine's defeat. These four defeats, fears, are actually the ones that resonate among the European member states. Those fears are the ones that are hampering action and undermining unity. And I wish eternal shame to those who are undermining unity in Europe. I guess we know whom we're talking about. And I also would like to say that clearly the strategy on how to be victorious on a battlefield or to have a long-term peace in Euro-Atlantic area, we're lacking. To use the terms of former Secretary General of NATO, Rasmussen, we approach, we have the approach of step by step. We look slowly, we act on a safe side. But with this, I think I, I want to convey a message to all of us by quoting the two-time Nobel Prize laureate, Marie Curie. There is nothing in life to be feared, it is only to be understood. It is time to be more understand, understood so we can fear less. So I encourage everyone and all of you to get rid of those four fears and to provide all the support that is needed to Ukraine. Thank you.